Hello, my name is Amy. Welcome or welcome back. If it's not your first time here or you're subscribed, thank you very much. It means the world. Honestly, it's lovely to wake up in the morning and just see those one or two extra subscribers. So if you're not yet subscribed, please do that. And from the people that have been here from the start, did you see how much better my intro was just then? <laughs> Anyway, this is Lone Survivor from 2013. Six times three. Hurry up. He hasn't got enough oxygen going to his brain. 18. Oh! Ring the bell three times, put your helmet on the ground, you're done. I bet you a lot of them gave up. Two minutes, you don't make it! You do it again! All right now, gentlemen, I'm gonna introduce y'all to something called not being able to breathe. <sighs> no, that's where I'd be out. <laughs> Come back to the light. I bet the training has broken some of the toughest of men. Go get wet! Run! It pays to be a winner! You'd be so happy getting through. Definitely earned. You guys are our band of brothers. Based on a true story. Side of us. An unrelenting desire to push yourself harder and further than anyone could think possible. It's one of those films where you're seeing the end of the film before the beginning. We wanted that fight at the highest volume. A loud fight. The loudest. Three days earlier. my wedding present and just saying she was a horse <laughs> if my brother goes running in the morning I don't understand how people do it <laughs> Murphy by 1.1. 1. 1. More than that, more than that, Marcus. Fucking dude, I was being generous, trust me. <laughs> Listen up, Red Wings a go, tonight, 1800. Am I going? PLO in an hour. I hate the fact there's always young'uns in these war films. But I suppose that's the way it is. Objective of this mission, is to capture and kill Ahmad Shah. If you want a positive ID, note that Shah has no earlobes. I don't have earlobes. 
Tarak. He's his right hand man. Seems to do most of his chief shit for him. We're gonna be moving up the back side of this mountain here, which is gonna offer great concealment from the village. I'm estimating that it's gonna take us between three and four hours. Murph's got the sap phone. The AO of this region is very steep. Expect typical comms problems. We missed two windows, I'd say wake somebody up. If not, don't sweat it. Waypoint one is Budweiser. Oh, this isn't looking good, is it? If you do come under attack, to deter or defeat that threat. Leaving here at 1800, two Chinooks and two Apaches. When we hear Schlitz malt liquor, we're heading back to Bagram for phase two. The movement is so we can get the 47s back here, ready to bring it for phase two once you get eyes on Shaw. A lot of moving parts. Yeah, I couldn't keep a lot in. I'll probably figure out as I go along. <laughs> I'm bringing up tomorrow night's new guy presentation to 1400 today so that all may revel and partake. Fucking late. Sir, I'm good to go. Mr. Patton, please. Oh no. Give me some dance. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> One net. This is doing it. Dude, that was traumatizing. Can we make a vote to push him through? Because I can't see that ever again. Can he say it? Can you say it? Can you say it, Mr. Patton? What does he have to say? Been around the world twice. Talked to everyone once. And I even know a man in Thailand with a wooden cock. <laughs> I'm a hard-bodied, hairy-chested, rootin', tootin', shootin', demolition, double-cap, crimpin' frogman. I'm a lover, I'm a fighter, I'm a UDT Navy SEAL diver. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Heat with all those bags and equipment. Jesus. Good copy. Sir, intermittent comms of Spartan 01, but they have arrived at the OP. It's a good hideout spot, though, Jesus. I mean, that village. Four guys on the right. At least they seem pretty confident. Because I don't right now. Hey, Danny, you make comms yet? 
No joy. Spartan base. This is Spartan zero one. We're gonna get cool, aren't we? I don't know how, but. Radio check. How copy? ALT. Yeah. Is that redhead a bridesmaid? Radio check. How copy? Melissa? The one with the freckles on her nose, the cute one from the Coldplay concert. That's Melissa. Well, is she coming? She's a bridesmaid. Yeah. Is she coming? Yes. <laughs> She's a bridesmaid. <laughs> She's a bridesmaid. <laughs> yes. What did she ask about me? No. Please wake up. He's good. I can you see this? Yes, they still. What the fuck is this? It's gonna be some random farmer. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Are you talking to Taliban? Zero one over. They're not answering. Hey, eyes down. Eyes down. Eyes down. Eyes down. Doesn't look phased. Yeah. Danny, you radio working? So now I'm gonna be that guy calling on an unsecure sat line because your shit ain't functioning. Just wait. There's no rush. I don't think anyone's gonna notice that they've gone missing. Not yet. Willette, Petty, Officer Patton. Patton, Mike Murphy. This connection sucks. What's up, man? Oh, man. Patton. Get me the skipper. Now. Now. Yeah, he's sleeping, sir. So. Oh, come on, it's urgent. Wake him the fuck up. Now. Roger that. Mike. Mike? Oh, it dropped. Shit. Why is Murphy calling out a sat phone? No idea. <sighs> Try him back, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Fuck! Worst fucking comms. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the way I see it, we got three options. We let him go, hike up, Probably be found in less than an hour. Two, we tie him up, hike out. He'll probably be eaten by fucking wolves. Oh, didn't think about the wolves thing. Otherwise, I just have tied him to a tree. <sighs> no point. I tie him to a tree. I think. Shaw's down there. We let them go. We let him go. Mission fails. Oh, Mikey. I don't like it. What are you gonna do? We're gonna kill him? Huh? Okay, we kill him, right? What then? What? Fucking bury him? No, you can't just... No. What do you think? This shit's gonna be private? Huh? It's gonna be out there for the whole fucking world. CNN. Everybody's fucking business what we do up here. It's not, but you'll have to live with it. 
This is the fucking Navy, and you're the fucking boss, so you make the fucking call, sir. Why didn't it speak to him like that, then? Rules of engagement says we cannot touch that. Mm -hmm. And I don't care. Oh. I care about you. I don't want your mom sitting in your head. Your decapitated head on Al Jazeera show. I don't see it that way. Look at him. That's not a kid. That's a soldier. That's death. Look at death. Oh, this is so... They are unarmed prisoners. Tie them up. Tie them up. Let's get the fuck out of here. We can't just fucking leave them, let them go. This is a decision I would not like to take. So you just think it'll just be our little secret? Huh? Schwack them. Oh, God. We cannot do that. Say, Look at that child. LG, it's your fucking call. I ain't fucking voting. This is not a vote. This is what we're going to do. Oh. At least someone's giving direction. We're gonna cut them loose and we're gonna make this peak. Roger that, sir. They let them go. They need a way to slow them down. And if they had tie their hands behind their back and then somehow tie their feet together, it'll take them a lot longer to get down the mountain. I don't know. <laughs> Should have kept their hands tied. As bad as that sounds. They're gonna regret it, aren't they? Something's gonna happen. Yeah, because look at them, they're running down it. Even if he just had his hands behind his back, he would not be running that fast. That mountain is going to be crawling with the Taliban in a minute, in a minute, in a few hours. Danny, I got nothing here on set. Give me some. I don't have fucking shit. Let's fall back to that tree line. Wait till sundown. If we can't make cons, we're walking home anyways, gents. Let's get some rest. I wouldn't be able to rest after that. I'm sorry, I wouldn't be able to. I'd be on edge. He's busted. Oh, his ankle. Spartan zero 01 radio check. Do you copy? Sir, they've now missed three windows. Commander Shriver, this is Paul for you on line 17. Commander Shriver. Uh, sir, this is Eric for your essay. We have missed three comm windows with Spartan zero 01. Is there a fucking problem here, Eric? Sir, I've told you everything I have at this point. I will call you when I have more information. I'm not gonna be able to find him. It's going to be way too late. Are they coming already? Is this just a goat? Let's pray it's just a goat. Somehow look like a person. Okay, go do some recon. Be back in two minutes. You want some company? Fixing to get into a pretty good gunfight. Copy that. Danny. You ready to fight? <sighs> Jesus.
Those are gonna come running on. Marcus, move! We're just gonna keep sending people up. Spartan base, this is Spartan Zero. Requesting immediate QRF troops in contact. Bam! Shit. Got themselves trapped on the top of a mountain. Can't be it. Mikey, left is good. I say again, left is good. Got a freaking machine gun. Left is not good. I say again. Roger that. Push right. So they can't keep this up. <laughs> Fuck. How many injuries already? <laughs> Shit. Looks like they're all injured. Right is no good! Right is no good! <laughs> Go back where? watching this but that is fucking brutal did anyone survive oh, yeah he's moving but jesus i lost my rifle oh, my rifle are we all together <laughs> one two you see? God's looking out for us. That's God looking out for us, Mark. I hate to see him piss. <laughs> he shot me. Living in the past, Danny. We're all shot broken, you fight? Mess up my jaw, and that pisses me off. I'm surprised they were all still alive. Because that's it. Damn, this sucks. Damn. Oh my god. Fuck it burns. Kill left. Kill left. Kill left. Kill left. They got no signal. There's a village full of enemies down there. They're stuck on top of a mountain. I have to remember the ending. Is it like there was only one of them that got back and it didn't 
Look, it didn't look like he survived either. Hey. This is bad here. Mm. This is a fucking problem. Mm. Don't let him look at it because it looks like he's going into shell shock right now. Suck it the fuck up, okay, Danny? You're a fucking frogman. Let me see, Mikey. Come here. Let me see it. You pack it with some fucking dirt. Tight, you hear me? It's dirt. Can't stand. Come here, buddy. Come here. Let me see. Come here. Get there, get there. Oh, come here. Let me Don't. He's gonna go into fucking panic mode. Fucking talking to my mom. She didn't fucking say nothing about. It. Oh God! Even his eyes. He doesn't look like he's there. <sighs> Fuck! This is vivid, right? Oh. We got him. No, don't do it again. Get the fuck up and get your fucking legs working. You hear me? Come on, let's go. Please don't tell me they're gonna jump again. No, they're just gonna end up killing themselves. <laughs> Scared we're gonna see one of them smash their heads. <laughs> Oh shit. <coughs> oh. RPG. <gasps> oh, that made me jump. Where's Danny? I don't see him. You know what they have, Danny. Where is he? He's up top. We gotta go get him. God, I don't even know if you guys can walk, let alone go get him. Hmm. It's great that they're filming it. We're gonna go get to any of the problems, and then we're gonna come back down, fight back around, and we're gonna kill them all. Whole mountains lit up. You can die for your country, I'm gonna live for mine. I'm gonna make the call. You ain't making no fucking comms with that sad phone, Mikey. I'm gonna make the call. No. No, Mikey. Never out of the fight. Sounds like he's saying his goodbyes. Murphy's moving! Murphy's moving! Surely. He's gonna be right out in the open though, isn't he out there? I am the Reaper. He is focused. J Bad Talk, Sergeant Hasler. We need immediate air support. Uh. 
We need help. We need help. Lieutenant, I need your 10 digit grid. Imagine that being your last moment. Let's go, guys! Everybody! Let's move! Let's really move! Where's Murph? Up top. Where exactly is Mike? If I knew exactly where the fuck he was, I would tell you, brother. Oh, fuck. Let me see him. Did he really shoot me in the fucking head? Yeah, buddy. If I die, I need you to make sure that Cindy knows how much I love her, and that I died with my brothers with a full fucking heart. God, you must feel relieved, but stay hidden, Jesus Christ. Bad to worse. They're not gonna risk going back there again straight away. Ah! Oh my god. You gotta be fucking pissed too. <laughs> Tiny bit of hope, and it's just been taken the fucking way. I was trying to hold my tooth and for too long now it's coming out it's just coming out hard <laughs> Pull it out. It's 
Vi ved af. It's just to watch him walk around on that leaf. And the helicopter has to be able to see him. It's like a searching for a needle in a haystack. Not to smoke while I was recording, but you know what? Taliban, you stay. Stay back. Stay the fuck back. Back up. Oh shit. Taliban, you stay. They're gonna hide him. Raja, what is that? Come on, he's trying to help you. I know you're a bit shaken up right now. What other choice do you have? Come on. about to say, are they all going to be okay with him bringing him there? Seems like he might be putting everyone in danger. Do you see what I have? I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, please get that kid out of that room. Is he? Is he Taliban? Is he Taliban? He fucking knows something. You tell him, I will fucking kill him. Look at me in my fucking eyes. Why do you help me? Why do you help me? Can I trust you? There's an American base located here. Give this to them. Tell them where I am. Tell them where the base was. Lasha America is best. Oh yeah, Archimanga America is. I can understand some of the village people freaking out too. Technically, they're putting themselves in danger. What is that, Ono? Say. Child, he's just there. I just see him getting hurt. Fuck. No, 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 get the fuck up. No, 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 I'm gonna cut your head off and send it to you fucking America. Oh my god. Fuck you! Just feeling that knife on the back of your neck would be enough. That's a forte kate nishis makiliki. That's a brave fucking man right there. Pois way? Taturkele baltake. Why are you doing this, Rebecca? Yeah, what is their motive? Can he, what does he have to gain in this? I need a knife. Knife? Yes, yes, a knife to, to cut, okay? I was about to say, but I heard a duck. Knife. No, it's not a knife, it's a fucking duck. 
I need a knife. A knife. You know, a knife. Taku. The little boy's so cute. Taku. Yes, yes, knife, yes. <laughs> I wonder what he's like, one of the ducks. I think you should leave that one. <laughs> Shit, no, don't. At least it's not pumping out blood, I suppose. I feel tense right now. I look like shit. <laughs> Thank God that everyone's not the same and there's kind people out there. Why are you doing this to me? <gasps> They're not fucking around, are they? I want continuous ISR over the situation. Put me Gentlemen, everything in the air. No, I don't want anything to happen to that kid. It's fucking. At least he's gone now. Watch this guy over here. Watch it. Let's go. We gotta go. Oh. What day for mine, Mama? Let's go. We gotta go. Cute, very sweet little kid. And a really cool, brave dad. <laughs> Brave men have fought and died, building the proud tradition and fear of reputation that I am bound to uphold. I died up on that mountain. Because of them, I am still alive. And I can never forget that no matter how much it hurts or how far you fall, to keep fighting. you are never out of the fight. Dedicated to the men of Operation Red Arms. I, I wish I could swim.
the version of this song which makes me so depressed. <laughs> Seeing all the names and the photos at the end, it just reminds you that these are real people. And some people have been through hell and back, and some of them have never come back. The Afghan, vi the Afghan villagers who protected Marcus did so out of duty to their 2,000 year old code of honor known as Pashtunwali. Pashtun Wali required a tribe to undertake the responsibilities of safeguarding an individual against his enemies and protecting him at all costs. I did wonder what his motive was when uh, he took him in. I'm like, what is he gaining out of this? These brave men and women still thrive today in the harsh mountains of Afghanistan and their fight against the Taliban continues. I feel like I look like a train wreck right now. <laughs> Which means to me that it was a very powerful film. I'm not gonna lie, when I start when I started off I didn't feel like I was talking a lot or reacting a lot. I felt like it was a very slow build at the beginning. Then once they were on top of that mountain, nothing slowed down. It was just one bad thing after another. Of course, the four the four guys are heroes, but the two people that blew me away the most were that man and his little kid at the end. Those were two heroes right there as well. Oh, I've literally just drained myself out. I don't even know if I'm actually speaking properly right now. My brain is fried. It was some hard hitting scenes. Anyway, I should probably head off to bed. It's probably another reason why I'm feeling so drained right now. It's almost 1am. But like and subscribe. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.